Welcome everyone, this is Zozo Stockwatch, and this is your Stockwatch list for November 20th, Monday, and also your Let's Get Ready for the Week Ahead, the November 20th through November 24th. And we do have a holiday week coming up with Thanksgiving falling on Thursday, the 23rd. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, some of your top gainers and losers for the Friday, uh, we had MICT, SCVL, Shoe Carnival, uh, uh, Foot Locker, FL, and that was on earnings, ANF, Splunk, KEG, HIBB, uh, that was also earnings, LXFT, AMRS, NTES, uh, Viacom, and uh, Tellurian uh, were also your, all your top gainers for uh, Friday. And then some of your top losers for Friday were BGI, GNE, VERI, BBX, LEJU, SMI, SFUN, YGE, CMI, PCAR, ZX, and EA Electronic Arts, some of your losers for today, and that's courtesy of the Trade Exchange. For your unusual call activity for Friday, it was NUAN, HIMX, IRWD, PDCO, OCLR, and to the put side, but on the bid side, we had Twitter, unusual put activity, but to the bid side on Twitter, uh, LOW, and SIG for put activity, courtesy of the trade exchange. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at the fear and greed index. Uh, at one point, this was up at 95. Now we've come all the way back down to 44, and the markets really haven't retraced all that much. And we'll take a look at some of the markets in a moment. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at some uh, insider purchases that happened Friday after the bell. Uh, we had a TBK. D S S T A A T V R T V couple there for V R T V F P L J O E L X R X and for syndicate news uh B I O C S one B L C R C G I F I H T B X I T U S M V I S filed form S three and N R E. So that was some of the news that came out Friday uh, after the bell, and that's courtesy of the trade exchange. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the earnings that are going to be reporting for uh, Monday uh, before the bell. Uh, main one is uh, for Monday, November twentieth, will be uh, Bita B I T A. That'll be reporting before the bell. Uh, Starbuck Shop shippers uh sblk will also be reporting uh before the bell sblk and bita that's a couple of the uh, bigger names for monday after the bell we have uh agilent uh we also have uh beacon roofing supply uh for monday november 20th and this is after the bell uh right here uh, we also have Intuit, I-N-T-U, Palo Alto Networks, P-A-N-W, uh, Urban, U-R-B-N, VIPS, V-I-P-S, Z-T-O, Z-T-O Express, and uh, E-N-T-A, which is uh, Ananta Pharmaceuticals. So they'll, they'll be reporting after the bell. Uh, for Tuesday, before the open, uh, some earnings we have um, ADI. Burlington Stores, B-U-R-L, C-M-C-M. Uh, we have Lowe's reporting uh, before the bell, um, uh, symbol L-O-W there, uh, Medtronics, M-D-T. Uh, we also have uh, Dollar Tree, D-L-T-R. We have Dana Shipping, or Diana Shipping, excuse me, D-S-X. And that's uh, Tuesday before the bell. So earnings season is thinning out, but it's not completely over yet. Um, for after the bell, uh, you see on Tuesday we have Salesforce, CRM. Uh, we have GameStop, GME. We have uh, BZUN, HPQ, and Hewlett Packard Enterprises, HPE. And this is for uh, Tuesday after the bell. All right, and then for Wednesday, uh, before the bell, we have Deer. Uh, we also have Frontline, 
uh, we have uh, after the bell we have GEOS and C drill also uh, RMAX a R M A X symbol there so that's some of your earnings and then as you can see uh, Thursday the market is closed all right, that's Thursday the 23rd, and then Friday, uh, it's a half a day for the market, but no earnings uh, for either one of those days. And here are your earnings conference calls for um, Monday after the bell, Palo Alto Networks at 4.30, Agilent at 4.30, INTU 4.30, ENTA 4.30. Um, also, we have uh, Urban at five o'clock, uh, Beacon Roofing at five o'clock, and lastly, ASYS, all having their earnings conference calls um, after uh, the bell on Monday. So this is courtesy of the earnings cast. Uh, for trade exchange for the uh, week ahead, for your um, Monday economic information, uh, 10 o'clock basically leading uh, economic uh, indicators here at 10 o'clock uh, for Tuesday the 21st existing home sales stands out uh, the AP uh, crude oil data uh, that comes out after the close on uh, Tuesday the 21st uh, also we have the 830 Chicago Fed National Activity Index I don't think that's a big market mover uh, on Wednesday though we do have uh, some economic information coming out MBA mortgage applications 830 durable goods uh, we also have consumer sentiment at 10 o'clock at 1030 we have the uh, oil numbers coming out and that's for Wednesday the 22nd and then we also get the uh, nat gas uh, numbers coming out at 12 p.m. because Thursday is a holiday uh, and then also Wednesday at 2 p.m. the FOMC um, minutes from the last meeting so that'll be at 2 p.m. on Wednesday the 22nd. Uh, don't forget the market is closed Thursday and then uh, the the markets close at 1 p.m. on Friday the 24th. So the markets will be closed Thursday and then half a day basically closing at 1 p.m. on Friday. So you can imagine, uh, you know, the volume is going to start drying up definitely, you know, Tuesday into Wednesday. A lot of people traveling for the Thanksgiving holiday. So uh, being in the holiday spirit with Thanksgiving coming up, we decided uh, at Zozo Stockwatch to run a nice promotion uh, for people that want to try our service. Uh, for just $30, you can get your first 30 days for $30, and uh, you can cancel at any time, and uh, then it rolls over into $84.95 per month. So it's $30 for 30 days to come give us a test drive. Uh, Zozo 30 for 30 Thanksgiving. I'll put this down in the subscription. Uh, basically, you just click on the sign up now, enter your information, and you'll get your first month with Zozo Stockwatch for $30 for 30 days. All right, so come take advantage of that. That's our Thanksgiving promotion and also going to be our uh, Black Friday uh, promotion. So giving you a heads up on that and you can sign up. Um, I'll put the link down in the description box. And this is for zozostockwatch.com. This is the website. The link, this link will be down in the uh, description box. And I will also put it in the uh, comments section of this video. All right, so hope to see you in the room. I think you'll like the room. We do swing trading and day trading. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the markets a little bit, and then we'll get into that stock watch list. Uh, let's check out the SPY first. You know, really not too much give back here in the SPY. Uh, we've, you know, touched highs here, and we've pulled back to about 256 area on the SPY. You see this yellow line here. That's kind of my caution line. You know, if we break that, probably going to retest the uh, 50 SMA on the SPY. Currently, though, we're holding above the uh, 20 SMA, trying to get back over the 10 SMA. Um, a little bit downward movement on Friday, but not too much. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at the um, Qs. And, you know, Qs are holding strong, holding above the 10 SMA on the Qs, trying to break out here to all record highs here. We just had a record high back on uh, Thursday, and uh, then we pulled back from it. But really, just holding above the 10 SMA on the daily chart. So uh, we'll see what the, the market wants to do with this tomorrow, but for the open Monday. Uh, but I would have to say, you know, this week is probably leaning towards the bulls. 
um, because the Bears could not make much headway, uh, headway last week. And once again, everything's going to kind of depend on the, uh, you know, what's coming out of Washington in reference to the uh, tax bill, if that's going to get passed, what kind of version of the tax bill is going to get passed, or is it going to be pushed out to 2019? So we'll see what's going to happen with the uh, tax bill. Uh, next up, we'll take a look at the IBB. Now, this has been a little bit weaker. Uh, you know, we are trying to hold above this 300 area on the uh, IBB, but uh, a lot of names, you know, not looking too good. Uh, Amgen, you know, below the 200 SMA, Celgene also, uh, you know, trying to recover and bounce here after this big gap down, but not much of a recovery at all. Just kind of back and forth filling here on Celgene uh, and uh, Guild, which was having a nice run, pulled back from, you know, that 86, 84 spot, rolled over, uh, now trying to hold uh, the 200 SMA on G-I-L-D on Guild, but uh, the IBB right now, you know, trying to recover. It's good that it got over the two, back over the 200 SMA, but we're still fighting to retake the uh, 10 SMA, and you see the work uh, it has to do and the uh, resistance up ahead for the uh, IBB. Same thing with the uh, XBI, um, but in that, you know, you have some select uh, biotechs that are looking pretty good juno srpt sppi you know those are looking pretty good um uh you know sppi just pulled back on friday but it was looking pretty strong and then after uh sppi uh we also have blue which is uh, moving up and holding above the five moving average here. So some select biotechs are looking okay, but uh, like I pointed out, Celgene, Amgen, Guild, uh, not looking too good. Uh, let's check out uh, BIIB Biogen, uh, and that one remains below the 50 SMA. So biotechs have their work cut out for them, uh, kind of a mixture there in the biotechs. Uh, if we look at the OIH, and uh, we pulled back uh, from that 26 level here. We're down below the 50. We're down below the 10. Um, and that's such names as Schlumberger, Halliburton, uh, Rig, and uh, all those stocks, you know, rolling over and kind of taking a little bit of a hit there uh, last week. Uh, and that's while USO has been, uh, you know, setting up again. So the USO oil trying to get back over the 10 SMA. If we look at oil itself, uh, we're holding above the 20 SMA, holding above $55 a barrel. And, you know, I should draw a line right there at uh, 55 just to uh, remind myself that that's a pretty important number, uh, 55 for oil. All right, so we had took the longest time to get through it. And uh, now we are above it again. So let me just line that so I don't forget. All right, so there's that $55 a barrel number there. And, uh, you know, you see we're bouncing off of that and holding above the 20 SMA on a light sweet crude WTI. Uh, Nat gas not faring as well. Really, you know, not too much going on here. You get occasional pops here, but still below the 10 SMA on UNG. UUP, the dollar, uh, was trying to make a, a move here, but since then has rolled over from that 150 SMA in around that 2475 area. And now we're back down to the 100 SMA, but trying to hold above the uh, 50 SMA here, the blue line you see here on the uh, dollar index. So we'll see, um, you know, what that's going to do next week. Uh, the VIX, you know, fits and starts, pop. Now we're pulling back on the uh, VIX. And uh, you also see here the VIX just couldn't get back above the uh, 50 SMA on the uh, VIX. Uh, so, you know, not really much volatility out there, not much fear. And VIX is a gauge of uh, fear. And uh, there's really not much going on in the uh, VIX as far as, you know, uh, pops. We had a pop, you know, last week, but uh, since then we've backed off from that. Uh, the highest we've been is around that 17 on this thrust here. We got as high as uh, 14.50. So uh, not much volatility in the markets as of yet. Uh, IWM. 
you know, we were rolling over and uh, the bull showed up around this uh, 144, 145 spot, protected it, and now they're pushing it back up. And we are back over the 50 SMA and back over the 10 SMA uh, with that resistance of uh, 150 and change up above. IWC, the uh, micro caps, also uh, recovering off of that 90, 50, 91 area and trying to get back over the 50 SMA and back over the 10 SMA for the IWC. Uh, we'll take a look at gold. Nice uh, recovery here in gold. Uh, back over the 50 SMA. So, you know, a little bit of mixed signals here. We finally got gold starting to move over the 50 SMA. Uh, we also had uh, silver moving up over the 200 SMA uh, last week. So, and that was Friday. So some buying came into some of the metals, you know, silver and gold. So we'll see where that's going to take us for the week ahead. Uh, the SMH, as you can imagine, after this long run, kind of consolidating its gains here. Uh, NVIDIA has just been a monster, and, uh, you know, it's been nonstop up. And uh, it's been still holding the 10 SMA. Now we'll have to see if it can uh, hold above the 10 SMA, the 13 and the 20. Or are we going to start getting some pullback in uh, NVIDIA? And we'll take a look at some of the bigger names. Amazon. Uh, you see we're up above this previous resistance spot here. That's why I left it red. Uh, you know, and it's trying to make new highs and holding above the 10 SMA. So good strength there in Amazon. And with uh, Christmas coming up and Black Friday, uh, Amazon probably will power up higher, you would think. Uh, you know, Walmart did give back some of its earnings gains, but still holding above, you know, where it popped from that 94 level. Uh, maybe just some consolidation there for Walmart. Uh, Google, uh, you know, this uh, candle is kind of ominous, but, you know, we did hold this 20 SMA. So some selling here. Um, but we did hold we did hold above the 20 SMA, so we're going to have to see uh, how they're going to handle this on uh, Monday. If they're going to take this back up, or are they going to start breaking down the 20 SMA for Google? So uh, next candle may tell the tale for Google. Uh, Apple. Uh, below the 10 SMA, below the 5 EMA, uh, but still holding above a rising uh, 20 SMA. So you'd have to lean towards, you know, the bulls here in Apple. Um, you know, this 50 SMA is starting to turn back up the blue line you see here. Uh, but, you know, kind of the, uh, we'll see what they want to do with this uh, next candle on uh, Apple. Uh, Tesla after there. Um, uh, Elon Musk came out with the uh, truck, the semi-truck, and the Roadster. Uh, nice pop here. Gets it back over the 200 SMA. Um, so nice pop there for Tesla. We did hold this uh, 300 area, 296, 300. Now it's starting to turn the corner back up. Big volume came in on Tesla. So nice move there. Facebook, another name that we have to keep an eye on. A uh, little bit of an indecisive candle here, but still holding above the fast-moving averages, uh, you know, trying to break out over this 180 spot. We did it here. We rolled over a little bit, but not too much, and we're just kind of basing uh, below those previous highs on uh, Facebook. And we'll also take a look at uh, Netflix which uh, had that resistance around the 200 area, uh, but we are holding the 50 SMA. Uh, but currently we're below the 20 and the 10. So we're going to have to see if the next candle breaks us down through this, uh, you know, 190 spot or if they're going to keep battling here at the 50 SMA for uh, Netflix. All right. So um, let's look at some of your best stocks for the week and uh, then we'll get into the watch list. So some of the uh, best stocks for the week. Uh, we had a uh, Foot Locker, right? And Foot Locker was up 35% uh, for the week on Foot Locker, and that was after their earnings came out on Friday. So nice push up there on uh, Foot Locker. ANF, another retailer, uh, up 24%. Uh, for the week, GPS, another st or retailer that had earnings this week, up uh, 8%. Finish line, kind of moving up in sympathy to uh, Foot Locker. And this was up 7% uh, for the week. Urban, which has uh, earnings coming up soon. Uh, this stock was up 10% uh, for the week on Urban. Uh, SQ had a really nice week, up 13% on SQ. Uh, Walmart, like we mentioned earlier, was up 7% for the week. Teva, 
um, actually bouncing off the bottom here, up about 17% on Teva. Um, Pandora uh, bouncing up 12% for the week on Pandora. Uh, Leeds, small stock, up 124%. CHFS, uh, China name up 123% for the week. CDTI, this stock was up 70% for the week. ITUS uh, was also up 21% for the week. TOUR, TOUR, uh, up 20% for the week on that name. SRRA, I believe this is a Canadian company, up uh, 22%. So nice pop there on uh, SRRA, up 22% for the week. Uh, GNC, coming back from the dead here, up uh, 18% GNC. Uh, NK, a biotech name, this name was up uh, 19% for the week. SPLK, after their earnings stock pops, 17% for Splunk. So very nice move there in Splunk after their earnings. MICT was a Friday mover. Uh, this stock was up 66% for the week. MARK, Mark after their earnings, up 63% for the week on Mark. GLOW, uh, I believe this has a connection to... Um, no, I take that back. I'm thinking of Grow, actually. Uh, Glow uh, was up 20% for the week. Telecom services, you know, ugly weekly chart, but nice bounce here in uh, GLOW. Uh, next up after that, we have uh, Mosey. They also had earnings last week, up 78% for the week on MOSY CDXC. Uh, that stock was up 30% for the week. HIBB, they had earnings Friday, stock up 22% for the week. And lastly, uh, VIPS, which has earnings coming up this week, uh, up 19%. So nice recovery there for uh, VIPS. Uh, some of our worst stocks for the week, and most of them are in the oil sector. Uh, Rig down 10%, 11% for the week. NE uh, also down about 10% for the week. Slumberger, uh, as I showed you earlier, down 6% for the week. Uh, Halliburton down 6% for the week. DO, another oil name, down about 8% for the week. NBR, uh, this one faded off about 10% for the week. Uh, HTBX, uh, this is a biotech name, was down 25% for the week. MVIS, stock down 11% for the week on MVIS. COP, another oil name, down about 5% for the week. SPWR, a solar name, uh, took a 9% hit this week uh, on SPWR. TGT Target, a retailer that was down about 5% for the week. XOMA, down 25% for the week. CHRS, I'm sorry, yes, yeah, CHRS, yep, uh, down 17% for the week. Um, also, XOMA was down 25% for the week on XOMA. BIDA, down, uh, and that has earnings coming up, I believe, Monday, down 17% last week. EXXI, uh, another oil name, just uh, trending down, uh, down 45% uh, for the week. WOW, wow, uh, taking a hit, not a wow there at all, down 16%. Uh, CALA, CALA, down 38% for the week, biotech name there. And then lastly, uh, QD had earnings last week, and that stock was down 23%. So that's your best and worst stocks uh, for the week. And now we'll go ahead and get into the stocks to watch. So as you know, at ZozoStockWatch.com, we do swing trading and day trading. So this will stock watch list will have swing trades and day trades in it. Uh, this first one up, Abbott Labs. Uh, daily chart is looking very nice. Would love it to get over this uh, 56 spot here on Abbott. Possible swing trade holding above the fast moving averages. A rising 50 SMA there on uh, ABT. ASND. Um, this is more, I think, for me, a day trading stock. Would love to see more volume come into this name. Uh, trying to get out over that 3750 spot on ASND. So keep this one on watch. It's a, a biotech name, so strictly a day trading stock uh, for me. Looking for a quick pop.
Uh, if it can take out, you know, 37.50, maybe it gets a continuation move. Uh, AUY, um, a gold stock, because we had that nice pop in uh, GLD. Looking for this to take out uh, the highs for Friday, depending on how the market's going to be this week. Uh, the high was 275. So if gold continues up, this looks like a nice uh, daily chart setting up here for possible swing trade. Uh, Beacon Roofing has earnings, so we'll see what the reaction is to the earnings, and then we'll have to play it off of that. But uh, BECN kind of setting up nicely. Some of the home builders, um, nice pop there in Hovanian. Uh, on Friday and uh, Toll Brothers shaping up and also uh, Lenar moving up nicely on LEN, PHM, uh, Pulte Homes continuing up. Uh, so the home builders are looking okay. So you would imagine, uh, you would think that BECN is going to have good earnings and if it doesn't rip up too much, uh, maybe we'll get a, a trade or a swing trade in that one. CBIO, strictly a day trading stock. You see my lines here from uh, Friday. Uh, big pop here. So we'll see if this sets up uh, intraday on CBIO. Uh, next up, we have a uh, triple CR China name kind of turning back up, you know, strictly for day trading. Would love to see more volume coming into this name, uh, trying to get out over that 350, 355 spot possible day trader there. CNX, uh, an oil name popping up, looking for that 17 break. Uh, so this select uh, energy stock trying to get back over 17 would be a nice breakout for this stock. Uh, 2.6 million shares, possible swing trade on that one. Corey, um, we had a high of uh, 11.65, so we'll watch and see if it gets over that 11.50, 11.55. Possible swing trade uh, volume coming into the name has been pretty light um, on the selling part of this name. Uh, now trying to push back up, so we'll see if Corey will give us a swing trade. EBIO, uh, this is one of those popping off the bottoms under $1 name. You might want to keep an eye on it. 6 million shares came into the name on EBIO. Uh, maybe this is one of those, you know, uh, fill the gap or move up past the dollar type of day trades. Uh, ECYT turning back up. We've been talking about this one uh, for a few, you know, I guess since last week. And, uh, you know, it was looked like it was turning up here. Then we sold off. Uh, now the buyers stepped up in again here around the 20 moving average here. So uh, we'll see how this sets up intraday. Uh, needs a little more volume in it, though. EVLV. Specialty retail name, uh, tr you know, if it gets back over, maybe that's 140 spot EVLV. Uh, 2.5 million shares Friday, maybe intraday this one sets up. FMSA, uh, this is an oil uh, name uh, trying to get back over uh, $5. Uh, you can see that would kind of break the stock out. The only thing is we have this 200 SMA right above it here uh, at 524. So just keep that in mind um, if you try to either day trade or uh, swing trade this FMSA. Uh, 4.9 million shares on that one. Uh, glue, um, after this nice run, turning back, still holding above the 50, trying to get back over the highs from Friday, maybe 420 or so, uh, gets the glue moving up. Uh, Groupon bouncing off the 20 SMA, trying to get back over 550 on this name. So Groupon, keep an eye on that. Possible swing trade. HMNY, uh, you know, their movie pass is doing pretty well. Uh, this is mostly right now intraday uh, trader for me. We traded it quite a few times last week. So uh, this is strictly an intraday trader right now. But, you know, if I do take share size in this on HMNY and I get a nice move up, maybe I can hold some for a possible swing trade. So from an intraday trade, we could get a possible swing trade in this name. We'll see um, how it's going to react uh, next week. Uh, HZO, HZO, specialty retailer. Uh, you know, trying to get back over 21, uh, volume only 360,000 shares, but if it breaks out over 21, you might get some volume coming in. It's not a favorite, uh, but, um, you know, it is kind of flagging here. So I thought I'd throw it out there for possible swing trade, uh, ITUS, uh, this is strictly right now a, um, intraday trade trying to get back over $3 on ITUS. Uh, volume was about half a million shares on Friday. Uh, LBIX, 
uh, fits and starts here. You know, these shadow candles up above. Sorry for so many lines, but that's from my intraday uh, charts. Um, you see it's trying to get back over, you know, maybe this 225. So we'll see if this sets up uh, intraday on that name, L-I-N-U. And let's remove that line so you can see that better. Uh, you know, holding above the 50 SMA on the name, volume about 700,000 shares. Uh, you know, this made a nice pop back here. And uh, so we'll see if there's any kind of additional moves in LINU. Uh, I believe this uh, MICT has earnings uh, Monday. Uh, let me just check that for you real fast. Hold on one second. So if the uh, trade exchange is showing before the market opens. Um, tomorrow uh, before the market MICT has earnings so just keep an eye on that uh, for that stock all right but uh, you know if it has decent earnings might be a good stock uh, intraday on MICT but they do have earnings uh, before the bell on Monday uh, next up we'll take a look at mankind uh, you know, it's been kind of basing, holding this $3 area. It's not a favorite right now. Uh, we'll see what this one wants to do. Intraday, NEOT, trying to get back over that $1.40 area. You see the resistance here for NEOT. So we'll see on that one. NVFY, uh, big pop here, turned back up. Uh, 1.3 million shares. So we'll check and see how this one did. We'll do, sorry, for Monday intraday, all right, for NVFY. PTN uh, under a $1 name, trying to maybe get back over 90 cents. You see it tried it here, fouled, uh, but might be wanting to get back over 90 cents. RGSE, a little bit of a pop, 1.2 million shares, intra intraday trader only. Um, and you see that 209 level is pretty important there. RVLT, uh, you know, the stock has been straight down. Uh, did get a little bit of volume on uh, Friday, came up on expanded volume scan that I have. So not a favorite chart, but we'll see. SHOP, shop, trying to get back over uh, the 50 SMA, which is currently at uh, 106.26. So maybe if this can get back over, you know, 106 area, 106.50, uh, maybe shop might uh, make a run for the holidays there. SPWH, uh, 5 million shares came into this name. Big pop here. We'll see if there's any kind of like red to green or continuation move. TNDM, uh, about 470,000 shares, a little bit light on the volume. So not a favorite, but it is, you know, kind of a fry pan bottom starting to turn back up. So you might want to keep an eye on that one intraday. Uh, TRN. Uh, trying to get back over 34 spot, the high on Friday, uh, 33.77. So this might be a possible swing trade in TRN. Twitter, uh, we're already in this one, full disclosure, we're already in this name from the service, and uh, it's pushing up nicely. Would love the $21 break. Um, you know, still not a bad spot for uh, Twitter if you want to try it on that break of, say, 20, 90, 21. Uh, to see if it can get a continuation move. Uh, USG, this is kind of a play off of the housing. I mean, if Beacon Roofing is going to do well, maybe this wants to break out over 35 on USG. Uh, WPRT, looking for to take out 350, 1.6 million shares traded, auto parts company. Um, and the other one that comes to mind is SORL, uh, big pop here, two stick pullback, holding the five EMA. If this can get back over, you know, seven dollars, uh, that might do well. And also keep an eye on this uh, WPRT Auto Parts. If it can get over uh, 350 area on this name, uh, XENE. Uh, there was volume in it um, Friday. Expanding volume, so we'll see. It's not a favorite, kind of one of these coming up off the bottom. And then lastly, uh, Zynga. Um, I showed you uh, glue, right? If this thing wants to turn back up, maybe Zynga will finally break this $4 uh, spot here on Zynga. You see it's tried many times before and uh, basically fouled, but uh, we'll keep it on watch. Maybe this time it'll break out and run on Zynga. All right, so that's your let's get ready for the week ahead and your stocks to watch. Um, everybody have a very good Thanksgiving. I'll be making videos up until, I guess, uh, you know, Tuesday night. 
or so, I guess Tuesday for Wednesday, and uh, we'll talk along the way. Don't forget, I am running the uh, 30 for 30. All right, so if you'd like to try my service, um, you get uh, into the room, you get full um, full access to the Omnovia room, 30 for 30, 30 bucks for 30 days. It's a uh, Thanksgiving promotion, Black Friday promotion, giving you a heads up now. And, uh, you know, you get to use the screen sharing, get everything that a regular member gets for 30 bucks for one month. All right. So come give us a try. Zozostockwatch.com. My name is Mike. I'm the owner and I've uh, been trading a long time, day trading, swing trading, and I can share my thoughts and uh, I give you good alerts. All our alerts are uh, in the room prior to the trigger. All right. It's one thing we pride ourselves on. So uh, come check us out. Zozostockwatch.com. Take advantage of the 30 for 30 program. All right, take care.